Hello, can I? Hello, Chief. Nothing good in store for us. Nothing good.
Maybe he'll slaughter someone. Witcher, killer of the beast of the outskirts, slayer of the Striga. I shall be your dog, the most faithful of servants. I shall remove pebbles from your way so you don't wound but a foot. Thanks for the praise, but I don't need a servant. Take everything I have, Savior. All my belongings are yours. All of them. Really? Then give me what you've got and take care. <laughs> How do you see it? The gods never favor rebellions that seek to topple the natural. Hello? Even a child knows that sorceress is a godless, deceitful, and lecherous. Even me, father. Let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole it. The plowing bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of... Let's go for some liquor! Drinks on me! Greetings, Vatgern. I'm glad to see you again. Again? Plotsam? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry? No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started anew here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves might seem strange by your standards. You saved my life. A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to ask. I'm intrigued. It's been a tough day. I think some joy might do me good. Am I ever glad to have that debt off my mind? I'm happy for you. I'm happy for us both. Oh, I have a memento for you. Take this. A key? Mmm. To an old mine pit. I've no use for it. But you're quite the... All right. Thanks.
Who there? A witcher. Bumpkins wishes sent to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. First tell me, where's the woman you kidnapped? Kidnap none! I troll! A dwarf saw you carrying a human woman. Me stupid. Sick she. Me carry. Her help. Feed. Pet. But she run go. Mrs. First run go. Redhead then. All gone. Soup only stay. What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? I don't really care for onions. Stupid wisher. Elf good taste with onions. Tomato like. Where did you get the elves? Mrs. Bring from Garley's. Like I bring Redhead. The Redhead's in the soup too? No. Redhead, run go. Mrs. Run go. All gone. Only soup. Stay. Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in Gullies, Mrs. in Gullies. Bones found. Nice to know. Then wham! Humis from sky fall. You're lying, troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell. Flash crack. Two humis drop where Dumble ship. Humi man, big as troll. And woman. I go see. Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? Wish a man likes man. See, I from far. Bald, yes. Scar, no see. Run he go to Gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See, I go. Redhead grow. Her. Closer, I creep. Run, she not go. Let her grow. Take me through me, woman. Go home. Missus angry. Go through me when thin bones. Hungry, missus, yap and yap. Then run, go own for food. Give water, redhead, through me. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nice. Pet she when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief. Nice to sniff. Mrs. come back. Elves in hand. Drop thin wench, Egit, she call. Mrs. Yap. Rag give. Troll say not. Nice to feel. Stench troll like. Missy say she or me. Troll think. Nice redhead, nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell. Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. Even left elves. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay. Pain gone. Redhead run go at night. Troll sleep. Wind howl empty. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No, missus take away. Old bug leave elf's frag steal and run go. Where did she go, your wife? Gullies, missus Gullies like. Gullies me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish her missus no kill. Good old bug. Little batty. I won't hurt your woman. Missus tell come back. Below, be terrible. Wind howl empty. Fine. I'll tell your mate to come back. But I need the redhead's bandana. Missus have. Mrs. Good, she up give, as soon as she back.
Witcher, I might have some work for you. Did I hear you mention a job? Indeed. One very much in your line. I know a collector in Wengerberg. He pays well for all kinds of monster-related curios. Ericus Venom? Necker Hearts? Sounds doable. Harpy Feathers. Uh-huh. Why Feathers? I never asked. Got the order and that's that. Interested? What kind of coin are we talking about? Why don't we do a test? Bring me a bundle of fine feathers, for which I'll pay you, and if we're both satisfied, we'll figure things out. He's gonna want more than a bundle? That'll mean a lot of traipsing around. A few more, yes. So? I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises. I've got more important things to deal with.
feathers. Wonderful! Excellent quality! Just what I needed! I'll pay for each and every one! If you're in need of coin, just bring me more! Sorry, I'd have to be crazy. I know a few easier ways to make coin. See ya. Well, that's a shame. If you're in need of... Harpies have become rare in this area. I'm not sure I understand. Supply drops, prices rise. By how much? Pay me one and a half times as much and we've got a deal. You must be mad! I'll not give you that! Forget it then. I'm a witcher who won't sell himself cheap. Come back if... If you're... I suppose... Excellent! Lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of specters. Now we're up against a furious she troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, would you? Help us. I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? None of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away, and nobody else will get hurt. 
You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. In that case... Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, man! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom! I'm not looking for a ransom. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. The soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander! We were to find a Witcher! A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. You're looking for Letho. You know him? You could say that. I'm looking for him too. What do you know about him? Sheila de Tanzerville told us to search the ravines for this Letho. All we found was a camp strewn with dead Scoia'tael. This Letho was responsible for the bloodbath. And he did not act alone. Where was this? On the other side of the Wraith's Mist. What were you to do with him? Kill him. And anyone with him. Anyone? Are you sure? That was the order. Do you know where Letho is? Somewhere on the other side of this mist. We found a trail, but then the mist descended. We got lost, and emerged from it here. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensel tired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. Hume's troll, see? To kill Hume's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other. Good you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idiot, hew me, redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Back, good, tra like. Me back for Wisha asked. Stay away if Wisha not ask. Mrs. Wise. Idiot you, hew me woman grope. No more, never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old buck. Troll, give horn. In danger, we shall blow. Troll, come. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers, stench. Troll, bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do in lair? Nothing. Me see. Stench. Stench will... Show me stench.
two it. Rivians before. Mm. What? Greetings, Gwynplaine. Anything new about Letho? No, but I wager he's somewhere on the other side of the fog. I can feel it. Tell me about this Dwan for whom the Scoyatel are ready to do battle. Saskia? She's no Dwan. Certainly not like the others. You've seen her. I doubt I need to explain. She's fighting for a Pontar Valley for dwarves, elves, and humans alike. I thought you despised humans. I may only be a warrior, but I'm no fool. This is the best we can hope for now, and it's better than the Valley of Flowers. You haven't had a chance to explain yourself, your alliance with Letho. This is a good time. I suppose I owe it to you, Geralt. I don't know who they are exactly, nor who they're working for. I met Letho two months ago. He had escaped his pursuers in Edurn, found me and suggested we trade services. Our scouts and forest hideaways in exchange for the heads of Foltest and Hensel. A good offer to begin with that only became better when we revealed only part of our secrets. It then turned out that Letho was not alone. Serret and Orcs were meant to kill Hensel. My warriors were to help them. As you know, this never came to pass. Have you ever been to the Valley of Flowers? Dulblathana is nothing more than a vassal state of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. They call it the Land of Free Elves, but the Scoyatel are not welcome. It's another in a string of painful lessons. But a free Pontar Valley could change that. It's been five years since the kingdom was established in Dulblathana. Over 2,000 elves have settled there. Do you know how many children they've produced? A dozen or so. It's no longer the Valley of Flowers. It's the Valley of Sterile Elders. I'd love to see you tell Francesca that. Roach could be on the other side of the fog. In that case, I'll finally get him. I came close in Flotsam. Been after him for a while? Ever since he became leader of the Blue Stripes. During his first mission as commander, he ambushed one of my units, cut it down to the last elf. Surprised me for the first and last time. I've been more cautious since then. So it's a personal matter. Vengeance, a theme straight out of Dandelion Ballads. The safety of the Squirtal demands his death. Of the commanders first appointed to such units, he's the only one still alive. I notice there's no Temerian emblem in your collection. We should not claim something's done when it is not. You do realize that a dozen others will replace him when he's gone. Possibly dirtier foes, possibly worse. Better to have a known enemy, you say? That doesn't apply to Vernon. A more determined demon has never walked upon this earth. The longer he is active, the better he gets. I must put an end to it. What could Philippa want? Why does she care about Vergen being free, independent? Like all sorceresses, she likes to dabble in politics. Not one of them would hesitate to sacrifice another life if it furthered their goals. Quite a one-sided opinion. All? None? Life's rather colorful, but it's not all black and white. Hmm. Shades of grey, I think. I have no illusions about mages. 
You know the fate which the Queen of the Valley of Flowers reserved for the Alvan youth. Enid Anglina, known also as Francesca Finder, another sorcerer. In exchange for the creation of an Alvan kingdom in Dolblathana, she sent the Scoyatal to be butchered while attacking Nilfgaard's foes from the rear. She had a chance to call it off. She could have opposed the Emperor of Nilfgaard and summoned the squirrels to defend the Valley of Flowers. Why didn't she? In the name of a higher purpose. It's what the Emperor wanted. That's why we became bandits after the war. That's why elves are dying, our young murdered by the likes of Roach. And that's why I cannot trust Philippa Eilhart. I once met another Squirtel leader. Yavin. I knew him. He had beautiful dreams and desperately wanted me to share them. That's the same of you, I heard. You know a lot about me. I try to know as much as I can about everyone. I'm a witcher. I remain neutral. I didn't take his side. Perhaps that is the correct attitude. Let things run their course. It's worse if we then wonder what could have been had we acted differently. I try to avoid that. Decisions should be evaluated before they're made, not after. How is it that we're on the same side today? Things change. Today I have different goals and different allies. You think you can repel Hansel's army? No. What do you mean, no? The fortifications and dwarven devices are simply not enough to hold off the Kedwenis. They are just too many. What do you plan to do? You'll see. One thing I can promise. I won't break any pledge I've made.
Who are you, and what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're right. Strength in unity. You lie. You are not of the Dun Banner, and you must die!
Always in a hurry. You'll have a stroke. Look, another one. You let one human in. How can I? Sorcerers mutated him. One freak, how can I help? Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. <laughs> so, we thought it over. I'm on my way to the British station. Adam. You wanted to discuss something. Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher, but it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil war. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. 
He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Nothing worth mentioning. You're lying. There is something else. Stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I acted on instinct. In a few hours I should know what happened to Triss. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demavent's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power. The object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. You wanted... I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it was stronger. You know what this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. You want it. Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. What's this? Ah, the hues of green. See, she's dead. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. The commoners claim it's our princess. Sir, the Lord will never. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. 
as peasants do. Don't be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm skill and burden. I keep order and vulgar. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them. You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little, bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as their stations do. They're playing into Henselt's hands. The if they start at each other's throats, we'll have to come over here. Come over here. Alone. Each other's you can't mix water with fire. This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the and virgin's you see what death? They did to her? I can tell you what he lost with her life. Power. As I see it, every princeling likes to scheme. Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, it's vigilante Say, justice. Say, Witcher, come over here. Give us this whole plan. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right. But it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Rolling dung, you surly dog! You'll change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hog smelling... I'd gladly hear your opinion on the situation. Finally, someone reasonable. It's obvious Hensel bribed some serf who then did what he was told. That's interesting. Just think it through. The prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. Then that same commoner incited his folk to stand against the nobles and the prince. Something to think about. Hurry up, Witcher! Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are.
You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth, then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who will manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way he'll understand us. And all people is going to be equal our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them. Farewell. Give us this whole power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! You will change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hog smelling woman. Henselled at the gates. Wraiths from the mist. Why is he link? Those which has be cr when Farewell. This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the virgin's death? Back at jelly. What yeah. Farewell. As I see it, Give us this whole power! Rolling down, you silly dog! I want you. to speak with the prince. You're unique, then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please. Master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed the royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail, even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. 
Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Save your... Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they want it, nobody but Stennis could do it. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's going to judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. So you've forgotten how you tried to bribe me when I was at your house? How about that, snout face? This is slander. There are no witnesses, Witcher. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? 
What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Scoyatal units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. The witch is not human. So, no schnapps. Mining up the face of the drive like in the old days. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? You wanted... Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry!
Damn, I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhard located her. Well, it seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them too when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. Is Vess all right? What do you care? We could have all died while you played at being a squirrel. I refuse to explain myself, to you or anyone else. You saved a group of thieves and bandits. Deride them if you will, but they're ready to die side by side with the simple people of Vergen. They've got better reasons to fight than orders. Don't you care about Voltes' death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I'd forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles, but some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. A few years. Pretty please. Pretty please. Hey. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, trim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plough. Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? I wouldn't mind knowing what you think of Hensolt. I'm a madam. What can I know about the king? I seem to remember that madams and innkeepers know everything. He used to come here to plough, to develop a camaraderie with the fighting men like, but that was just a phase. Most likely only ploughs sweet smilling ladies now. Well, well, how can... I want to... We're no... Ask, what would you... Anything in... Soldiers are scared sh... Not rip. 
they might have been eagle. Well, how? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin. I've got the or. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. That'll cost you more. That's nowhere near enough. I need to get inside the camp, unnoticed. That'll cost you more. What would you like? I need... That'll cost... Hmm. That see. We've an underground passageway leading out to the river. Thanks. Although we've not used it for some time. I'm sure I'll manage. The entrance is inside the tent. Make love, not war. Boring. At least this one bathes. Make love, not war. It's that albino the again. Is afoot. Well, how? No, Prince. Make love, not war. Make love, not war.
Efke Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your back? Have you seen a red-headed sorceress anywhere? You didn't seem to understand my delicate suggestion, Nordling. Drop your sword. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Let Nara rub him. Garrett, I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Esther Garimnith. I remember you telling Falters you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Falters' advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet. But if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons, too. They told me you were in league with the Squirtel, with Jorvath himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Jorvath was among those condemned. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals, all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the Kings of the North demanded the massacre at the Ravine of the Hydra. Do you feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vanamar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? I found it on a man's corpse. And you finished his mission for the Emperor's glory. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Tavik or found him dead. It's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. 
Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? I am. I prefer to face you in combat, but that cannot be arranged. killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Fultest's former advisor. This stinks horribly, Geralt. It would seem the Nilf guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. What will happen at Loch Muin? Apparently, a lot more than I thought. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the council and the conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the north. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Hensalt is likely to arrive too. But a Nilfgaardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in their basket. One more thing, Roach. I need to see Henselt. Why? 
I need a few drops of Henselt's blood. Someone poisoned Saskia's wine, and his blood is an ingredient of the cure. Saskia's a rebel, a wench from who knows where. She only speaks of knightly honor, says Vernon Roach, blue-blooded prince, heir of Temeria. All right, enough. Ah, plow it. I hope I won't regret it. Henselt should be in his tent. I'll distract the guards, then it's up to you. I owe you, Vernon. <laughs> That's not even funny anymore, Geralt. So, ready? Let's go, Roach. What do you want, Tamarian? Those Nilfgaardians are beating up our lads. What? Whore sons will regret that! Over here. What do you want, Tamarian? Those Nilfgaardians are beating up our lads. What? Whore sons will regret that! You come to kill me. I'm here for your blood. You sneak in here like a villain and you want my blood? Fight me and try to spill it. 
Calm down, Your Highness. I need only a drop. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Voltet's favorite witcher. I've heard of you. Why do you need my blood? Saskia, the Virgin of Edirne, was poisoned. Royal blood is one of the antidote's ingredients. What superstitious nonsense? The wench wants royal blood. She should bite Stennis Edden's air in the arse. Listen, Your Highness. Give me your blood voluntarily, or I'll open your veins myself. I prefer the first choice. It would work out better for both of us. If I spill your blood myself, I'll have to break through the entire camp again. Who knows, maybe one of your soldiers will get lucky and kill me. I sincerely hope so, Satchel Mouth. But then the Wraith's Mist will hang on the border until your knights become weary of warring. What are you talking about? You know how to open the way for my army? Yes, but I can't do it dead. You'll get my blood. But promise you'll disperse the mist? You have my word, King. Remember our deal. My men will lead you out of the camp. I wouldn't want one of the soldiers to get lucky. Tell me, though, how did you pass the mist? I'm a witcher. Then I need an army of plowing witches. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Nguyen. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Nguyen will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen, at once!
Yikes! 